Hello, welcome to what is technically the third video of my Sims 4 playing. But this time it's a little different. As you may be able to see, uh, Flubbadar is sitting on a sofa. Uh, you can see his bed in the background there. Uh, you can see a couple of chairs because behind him is a chess table. Um, there was a problem, or maybe I should say there is a problem, where the game saves for The Sims 4 are not very stable. Um, so that is where things get interesting. Uh, I've got the game paused at the moment just because I'm explaining this. Uh, let me zoom out. As you can see there, a whole new kitchen layout and everything. This is because I had to start a new game. And so I decided to choose a different house. Basically, what I've been doing is I've upgraded things and basically bought, you know, replaced things with like slightly better versions of them. Uh, the house that I used to live in, or the, the one from the old save, is that one over there. Uh, this. This lovely greenhouse was the one that I was living in before, if you remember. Now, you might think, so why did you not just move back into that one this time? Well, the main reason was because this was a two, well, <laughs> was, technically is a two bedroomed house. But what I decided to do was get rid of the bedroom that was there so that I have basically extended and made a, the living area bigger because the way it was is you have this table over here and this kind of little area is the kitchen. Um, I, I don't know if you noticed when I just did that that oh no, you can't really see. Let me put the walls fully up. Um, I've put a wall there so that kind of separates like the living room from the kitchen. Uh, I made the bathroom slightly bigger, and this bedroom was pretty much all of the back end of the house. So I've made that bedroom small because you, what do you need in the bedroom? Sims do not need a lot in the bedroom. They need a bed. So that's all that's in there, really. You can't do anything else in the bedroom, really. Except sleep and woohoo and stuff like that. But there's really nothing else to put in a bedroom. So really, just put a bed in there. That's all you need. Um, as I said, this, oh, I forgot to do the flooring in the shower because there's a little bit there from the old I don't know, actually what you can say that it's that carpet there that's there I'm gonna talk about a lack of carpets unbelievable let me just uh, show you briefly uh, into build mode Floor patterns, carpet. That is your massive white choice of carpet. You have got trumpet vine embossed carpet. Now, ad admittedly, you, you've got different colours, but that's not the point. You've just got that. And you've got Plush comfort carpeting, that's what I've got uh, in the living room there, in the, the living area. 
uh, and you've got the different colours of those. That, th that's it. This is your massively wide choice of carpet. Now, when you hear about people say that EA left out quite a lot from the game, it makes you wonder why it was an 8.55 gigabyte download. I mean, seriously, what did they put in such a big file? <laughs> it's... I, I just... It baffles me, honestly. You know, it's... Uh, you've got 8.55 gigabytes to download when you buy it from Origin. And... When you get options like this, just two lots of carpet. Uh, tile. Oh, you've got a bit of a collection of tiles there. Uh, that's stone, masonry, linoleum, uh, linoleum, which is what you would normally put in a kitchen or even bathroom. That's it. A basic beige linoleum, really. And you've got that kitchenette fur tile linoleum. So, <laughs> I mean, honestly, where is everything? You know, I mean, what uh, what is this Sims supposed to be about? I mean, what was the old Sims for about? It was about being out, being creative, building uh, your own house, styling your own house. You know, things like that. This one is just completely different. Uh, I, I, you know, I just do not know in what direction they are taking The Sims 4. Because, as it is at the moment, it's, uh, it's not exactly the most ideal version of The Sims that I've played yet. I mean, they're trying to say it's like, the, you know, it's, it's bigger and better and blah 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 blah. Mm, it might have been a bigger download. The Sims 3, I think, was uh, something like about 6 gigabytes. Just, maybe just over 6 gigabytes uh, to download and blah blah blah. The fact that this is 2 gigabytes more, you might not think that are significant, but really you can, f you can fit a lot in 2 gigabytes. Considering that you can actually like compress f stuff, uh, but to be to be quite honest with you, that uh, I'm. Be <laughs> I know when I said like you know, I'm being. Uh, I was a bit sort of dubious about whether to buy The Sims Four or not yet. I think I, I may have, <laughs> I may have actually made a slight mistake. Oh no, that's the one sim that you see somewhere at the beginning or something. Uh, what was the name? Oh, damn, uh, Chloe Hughes. Oh, that's a rather normal name, isn't it, for a sim? Yeah. No, I don't want to go there. That guy. I meant to right-click to see who this was. Oh. Ah, there we go. <laughs> uh, Christy Grimes. Okay. Uh, once again, yeah, I'm being nosy at, uh, <laughs> at the random sims that appear. Uh, we have a couple there. Um, there's somebody down there. Jeffrey Langrub. Oh, Jeffrey! Um... So, yeah, I've literally had to start all over again because, well, my, my game, my, my save just, not so much disappeared. Here's the tip, 
it, it, it's it reminds me kind of of uh, the sims online that when you had problems with that you had to delete the cache uh, uh, well not the cache but cache files and I am talking about cache files not cache as in your, your cache in your PC or internet cache if you know what I mean uh, if you go into uh, my documents electronic arts the sims 4 um, there's a, a, a folder called cache if you go into there there are some files that end with dot cache there's usually I think about four four or five uh, yes. <laughs> uh, files called dot cache delete those and you should be fine but come on EA this is a problem that should not happen this is like 2014 this is the latest sims game why are we still having problems with our game saves is it that much of a problem i mean there's so much <laughs> negativity already towards this game because of the amount that they left out uh, reviews haven't been very favorable to it so really you know it's a bit disappointing to think that people are going out and buying this game for 50 pound 49.99 great british pounds and the pennies and I've, I've got to say that it is totally not worth that price I mean, I would, if you saw the link in uh, a previous video to CD Keys, where, I mean, I paid £24.69, which I think is a fair price, actually. But there is no way I would have paid twice that much for what is pretty much an incomplete game. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, this is not a review of it, this is, these are just my thoughts and opinions about it it's really not that complete a game and this is where EA are going to screw us over by not just patching the game and including the stuff that should have been included in these patches oh no we're not going to get those for free it will come in the downloadable content and now that the game's been out uh, what is it, a couple of weeks or so? Uh, what are we in September? February will be the first downloadable content. They tend to work on a, approximately five to six month cycles with the DLC. Uh, it's September now, so you can count October, November, December, January. February, February or March will be the first uh, downloadable content. And in that, hopefully they will have listened to the feedback that people are giving them and include the content that they missed out. Uh, what would be extremely generous of EA and to appease every big Sims fan would be to give that first DLC free to everyone who's bought the game because you really I, I feel a bit a bit short changed as you could say regardless of the price that I paid uh, the, the, I've already encountered that technical difficulty of having a game save or save game whatever be removed my sim was still in the game that's not you know for some reason my sim was still in the game but the the game that i was playing before in that old house that save well it had been overwritten because what i did before i discovered about deleting those cache files um i 
sort of pretty much went and went into creator sim that is not the thing to do as soon as you go into creator sim it starts a new game even before you move your sim into a house that's where it starts the game so I'm just gonna pause it there and uh, and I will leave it there for now because for <laughs> for my Sims 4 series of videos to make some sense I will try and get up to the stage at where I was that was where I joined a, a career I'd made a friend I was actually starting to you know starting to get somewhere things were progressing nicely um, but now I've got to do that all over again okay admittedly as well but it was early days I'd only pretty much only just started playing the game which was lucky I mean I, I would be absolutely totally pissed if I had played about like a week's worth and got to a certain point and then all of a sudden boom gone you know it, it, uh, well, something to my save. Uh, it's not there. The way that I knew that I couldn't load the save was because when you start the game and you get the little uh, thing at the top right corner where you've got like the, the three dots with the options and whatever, the the little disc thing, uh, the little disc icon wasn't there for me to load the game. That's how I knew something had gone wrong. So, be careful. Take my... <laughs> heed my words. Um, to make sure it doesn't happen, before you load... Your, uh, save your game. Before you load the game again, go into those cache files, into the My Documents. Uh, my Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, uh, the cache folder, and delete those dot cache files not the one with the cog there's a, a file with a cog which usually indicates options or, or config type thing don't delete that one just the dot cache files uh, before you have the next game and you should be fine whether EA decide to fix that then well hopefully they will and uh, they'll let us know but until then, like I say, be careful with your, your game saves and uh, I shall say thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Like and subscribe if you want to see more and goodbye.